Hello and good morning. Today is Monday, August 2nd, 2021. I am Lindsay Duff and this is Responsible Day Trading. So today I'm obviously coming to you from a new place. I'm actually in my spare room because my mattress will not be here until today and my office is not set up yet. So I'm still got few days worth of setting up to do and then I think I'll be able to just relax for a little bit after that. So it might be a little echo in here today because this is a fairly large room but I've got a great view to work from and I'm excited about it. You can see that uh, the puppers is happy about it too. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right guys, let's go ahead and check out that market. Let's first talk a little bit about the news. So you can see we do have some 9 a.m. news today and this is central time, 9 a.m. and 9.30 news on Wednesday. Besides that, all the other news is gonna happen pre-market. So unless you are a pre-market trader, then you don't really need to worry about them. And hey, unless you worry about news, you don't even have to really think about it. Some people don't even bother themselves with news except for things like FOMC. So let's look at the daily chart. Now, looking at the daily chart here, okay, let's talk a little bit about what's going on. First off, let's talk about last time, how it just pulled right down to that beautiful spot and boom, bounced right off of there. Now, what we have is kind of what we've seen happening in the past. It's hanging out in this area and one of two things can happen. Now, if this BB stays blue and rolls up and pulls outside of the Bollinger Bands, we're really gonna expect new highs. But if this BB stays inside of this Bollinger Band and starts to roll down, I'm gonna expect it to pull back into the area of the EMA and uh, possibly continue up at that point. Now I do keep marking this spot down here and moving it along just in case it ever decides to make that really, really, really deep pull back and head back down to that next area. I want to say we have more of a chance of up than down as I pull this together and really kind of look at it with the BB starting to be blue and roll up because this does have a great look to more up. We've pulled down in this area right where the high was before and it's struggling to push through, but that's the thing. It's struggling to push through. So, you know, just want to definitely be in the moment and trade what we see. If we go to the 28,657, which is the next largest tick chart, this actually looks like it's setting up for more long. It's pulled down into the EMAs, which are still open to the upside, and the BBs are still outside the Bollinger Bands. Now, it is pre-market. Market doesn't open for about another hour and a half. So, you know, things can change before then. Any, anything can change in the blink of an eye. That's why we really try and stay on top of things and just keep our eyes peeled for what could happen. Uh, if we go to the next biggest tick chart, the 10,946, this actually is set up pretty lovely for a push back up. EMAs are weak, but they're starting to roll over. We're about 90 miles above the zero line, which says more up. If we were anticipating this to come down, these BBs would start looking much stronger to be able to break through that bottom Bollinger Band. So let's go ahead and just take it to um, some trading charts. Now, I am using these much smaller trading charts for a specific reason. The last few days we can see, and we can see this just by taking a look at the daily chart with all these little small bars not having big, big movements. So the last few days have been really stuck between this area. So if we spread it out to the big charts, we're gonna fool ourselves into thinking that there's gonna be big moves immediately. If we stick with these smaller charts, then we're gonna be able to stay in the right mindset. Now, according to these smaller charts, this is, would be the trading chart, the one in the middle. The immediate says we might see some more down. We're at the zero line, EMAs are opening up. We've got a little bit of divergence on the 233. We're inside of the EMAs on the 1597 with the MACDs being below the zero line. So this tells me that we have a chance to pull down, maybe even back down to the 98 area if these BBs roll over here. Um, but otherwise, overall i see this trying to go up a little bit more that's pretty much going to wrap that up guys um 
If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Remember, stay in the moment. When the market is in these tight little spaces, using smaller charts are gonna help you. When they've got bigger, bigger swings, definitely moving to the bigger charts, because otherwise you're gonna try and make uh, mountains out of molehills more than anything, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up. I still have boxes to unpack. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably be spending about the next week doing that. And then I've got a cruise a week after that. And then it's all serious business for a little while at least. So, But yeah, guys, I hope that everybody has a wonderful day. If you have questions, definitely hit us up. Also, if you were um, part of the tax awareness, if you haven't watched it, make sure you go and check out the tax awareness video that is uh, on my YouTube channel. So you can learn about your taxes with trading and how to get yourself in the right direction with that so all right guys i hope everybody has a wonderful week and as always you know that i look forward to catching you on the profitable side